What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we've got a breakdown for the weekly reset this Tuesday, February 27th. And so this week we'll see yet another Riven's Wish quest, so we'll cover what we know about that, but it's also the final week before the March 5th update, so in terms of news this week we should be seeing new info about the changes there, including the launch of Guardian Games for 2024, so that should be interesting, and additionally we've got a refresh for the new season content, as well as bonuses and rank boosts. All of the raid refreshes, exotic mission rotator and featured activities. So we'll cover the nightfall, playlist modes, and all of the key unlocks for the week. So as always, I hope you find this one useful today. But before we get into it today, guys, we have a special sponsor from the biggest brand to care about your cabals, and it's Manscaped. So Manscaped have been creating quality men's grooming products for many years, and this year is special because they've just launched their Performance Package 5.0. Just look at all of these awesome goodies they sent out to me. Firstly, we have the Lawn Mower 5.0, and this trimmer has set new standards in grooming precision, featuring dual skin safe blade heads which remove hair without you living in fear of nipping anything sensitive. Never again, man. The trimmer blade specializes in precise trimming, while the foil blade is for those who are fans of being very smooth. And on top of its safety features, the lawnmower has a bright LED light so you can see what you're doing down there, as well as a long life battery with USB-C recharging, a travel lock for portability, and it's completely waterproof. But also included in the collection is the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is an awesome ear and nose hair trimmer with a 7000 RPM motor, improved steel blades, and optimal cutting performance, plus it's cordless and rechargeable with a 45 minute battery battery life. But additionally, to make you feel nice, the performance pack includes the Crop Soother Aftershave, which ensures ultimate post-shave comfort, and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, which keeps you smelling fresh. The package even includes two free gifts in the form of the Manscaped Boxers 2.0, which are comfortable and stylish, and the Shed 2.0 Travel Bag to house all of your grooming essentials. It's a great bundle, and right now you can get a huge 20% off your purchase and free international shipping by following my link below and using promo code HOUNDISH20 at checkout. There's never been a better time to check out Manscaped, so the details are in the description box, and thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring the video today. Now though, as we get into content for the game, of course we'll get a reset for all of the seasonal content, nothing especially new rolling out there with the exception of the Riven's Wish quest for the week, and so we've got Riven's Wishes 5, and for this we need to complete one of the following objectives, either defeat taken bosses or mini bosses in Rhea Sylvia within the Dreaming City, or summon and defeat the Farseer's Heir located in Rhea Sylvia, and that's a sort of secret boss that we can find there, so if we can do that, it's probably going to complete the quest step very quickly, and as always all of the rewards for Riven's Wishes will remain the same. So let us know if you'll be diving in and completing the Riven's Wish quest for the week down in the comment section. Otherwise though, seasonal challenges have now finished rolling out, but we do have the reset on the Warlord's Ruin dungeon, so good luck if you're still hunting down any of the legendaries or the exotic sidearm from that dungeon. But onto Crucible for the week, we'll see Clash and Showdown featured, and then Trials will return on Friday's Daily Reset, and we get bonus Crucible ranks all week long, so it's a pretty good time to dive in. Over to the Vanguard though, and the Nightfall for this week will be Birthplace of the Vile, so that should be a fun one to jump back into, and the featured weapon is the loaded Question Fusion Rifle, and of course we can get the Adept variant of that by completing Grandmasters. For the featured raid and dungeon activity this week though, firstly for the raid, we've got Root of Nightmares featured, so if you need to knock out any of the legendary rewards, or you're still after the conditional finality, then it'll be a good time to jump in as it will be farmable this week. And the same can be said for Ghosts of the Deep, which is the featured dungeon, and of course from there we can pick up the Navigator, so plenty of exotics to farm this week if you want them, and let us know down below if you'll be diving in. Speaking of exotics though, the exotic mission rotator for this week in the Legends tab will be Presage, so if you need to pick up Dead Man's Tail or any of the Season of the Haunted weapons, that's a good one to dive into this reset. And next up, over to Eternity and the Dares of Eternity. This week, on top of the core loot drops, we'll see the Rotation 1 loot pool, which includes the Scatterhorn armor set and the Wild Hunt armor, plus a bunch of weapons from Season of the Hunt and Season of the Worthy as additional random drops at the end of the activity. For this week's featured Lost Sectors though, firstly for Tuesday, we'll see Perdition on Europa dropping exotic arms, then it'll move over to Bunker E15 on February 28th dropping exotic chest pieces. And for the final day of the month, it'll be Concealed Void on Europa dropping exotic helmets, and then for March 1st we get the Thrillodrome on Neomuna dropping exotic legs, March 2nd will be Gilded Precept dropping exotic gauntlets, and then it'll be Scavenger's Den on the EDZ for March 3rd, dropping exotic chest pieces, and finally Skydark on March 4th, which will be dropping exotic helmets. So good luck if you're hunting down any rewards in those, but for the Feature Descendant Challenge this week, it'll be the Agonarch Abyss, which is found in the Bay of Drown Wishes, the Lost Sector immediately next to the spawn, but 
We'll run some gameplay of the location and collectibles for that one at the end of the video. And for today, guys, that is everything we have to round up in this one. So as always, I hope it's been useful. And if it has, a rating below very much helps us out on the channel. Also, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. I'll also keep you up to date with the news this week, things about Guardian Games and any extra details for the patch on March 5th. So keep it locked and loaded, get subscribed and turn on notifications and you won't miss out on any content. Otherwise, though, I appreciate you tuning in and I hope you guys have an awesome day. The cur... You're so deep into the... Guardian down. 